Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for treestuff.com. And in this video, we're gonna look at some of the popular rigging blocks that are available and talk about what makes them different. First, when we talk about rigging blocks, I always like to start with these CMI blocks. These come in a variety of sizes. There's some that aren't shown here. What sets these apart or characterizes these is their basic steel construction. So you have simple steel side plates, traditional style hardware holding it together. The top sheave is free and the bottom sheave rotates uh, smoothly. These generally open with a screw mechanism. So you have to screw this out like that until it's free, it slides away, and then the top sheave is captured with some uh, intricate engineering in there. So uh, these are simple, they're rugged, and they're affordable. Uh, like I said, they come in a variety of sizes and they're all pretty similar. So these are kind of your beginning place. The benchmark, I think, for a rigging block is the ISC spring block. Uh, these are, as you can see, much nicer looking. They're anodized aluminum in most cases, and they have a, a much nicer opening mechanism. So you'll see uh, there's a spring here on this shaft, and when you push it in, it exposes that little tab there, and by rotating it into the lower position, the block will open easily. Uh, this makes these a lot easier to use, a lot easier to install. Uh, you're often fumbling with large diameter slings. Uh, the spring block function, which ISC definitely pioneered, is, is certainly number one. Uh, these come, like I said, in a variety of sizes from humongous to normal and reasonable. Uh, they have everything from 5 eighths, half inch to 3 quarter inch uh, post rope or uh, running rope capacity. The next thing uh, is smaller blocks. In the last year or two, we've seen a wave of smaller blocks that was led by the ISC uh, RP48. The RP48 is a half inch capacity, smaller version of the larger spring blocks that they've been so well known for. This was followed by this CMI block, which as you can see is a spring style. Um, this one's a little large. It's not my favorite personally. I think this sticks out way too far. Uh, recently, however, CMI released this half inch one. It's also aluminum with a steel strength plate here. Uh, this is a screw style, not a spring style. So the knob doesn't stick out nearly as far, but in terms of uh, pound, you know, uh, fighting weight, right, or uh, weight to, to function ratio, this is the strongest small block in the world. Uh, this has a minimum breaking strength of almost 22,000 pounds. It does, however, only have a half inch rope capacity. So no half inch rope that you'll be using regularly uh, even comes close to that. So this is definitely oversized. Uh, you will notice this CMI mini block has a 5 eighths inch rope capacity. Uh, a lot of these have minimum braking strengths. A lot of them have safe working loads. On these ISC ones, you'll see that they have minimum braking strengths and working loads listed on them very clearly, uh, as do these CMI products. So a uh, lot of information for you to judge what is appropriate use. And there's a lot of different blocks here. Last but not least, uh, it's hard not to talk about these DMM impact blocks. The DMM impact blocks are certainly in a class of their own. They are the most expensive blocks available and they are absolutely the nicest. Uh, a mixture of hot forged and CNC aluminum components. Uh, these things are, are truly beautiful. They are a screw style, not a spring style, but they open smoothly and nicely. And they feature these little uh, carry loops. These are nice uh, so that when you go to put this on your harness, you don't have to tie like a knot in your rigging line or a knot in your uh, large diameter sling. You can simply clip this on your harness and carry it up with the rigging line in it. Um, the big difference between the large one and the small one besides working strength is that the large one has a hollow axle. This is actually rated for use. So you can use this in really large scale mechanical advantage setups. You can use it in a double whip tackle and anchor the bitter end of your rope through here, or you can also use it for slowly moving ropes. So if you're using a butt capture or want to control the other end of a load, you can use this for a second rope that can also be attached to like a break at the ground, like a porter wrap. So uh, these DMM impact blocks are absolutely the nicest uh, available blocks and the best made. The CMI blocks that we talked about at the beginning do essentially the same job uh, for a lot less money. They're way heavier. Uh, 
you know, this steel block is, is much heavier than this comparable aluminum block. But I think in terms of bang for your buck, the ISC spring blocks are, are your best choice. So a uh, ton of different options. These and every product that we sell at treestuff.com is available every day for 7% off with the coupon code online, O-N-L-I-N-E, for 7% off in your cart. Thanks for watching and please stay safe.